Somebody who definitely doesn't think it's doomed is Leslie Riddick, columnist at The Herald and The National. In Scotland, Alan Cochran is the former Scottish editor and now columnist with The Daily Telegraph. I'll start with, with you, Alan, if I can. Do you think this is a blow to the independence cause? I think it is a blow. It's a blow to a party that was already suffering from a, from a, a sharp diminution, the reduction in its support. It was uh, the independence argument was going nowhere anyway, and uh, it won't be helped by Nicola's departure. She's leaving the party in a terrible mess. Is that right, Leslie? Uh, no, <laughs> uh, I mean there was one poll, um, and before that there was a succession of polls that had support for independence at around fifty-four to fifty-six percent. I mean you could sit and quibble about individual polls till the cows come home. Um, so I don't know that that's actually true. She's a huge figure. I mean, the fact that we're actually having a, a discussion about a Scottish story for two days running, not trying to be funny, on the BBC is actually quite extraordinary. She was that large a figure. But what's starting to happen is that uh, most people, unionist uh, opponents included, are, are praising Nicola Sturgeon and trying to bury independence. And that <laughs> actually isn't going to f follow because those of us who are committed to independence. It's not a wee teenage phase. We're not going back in the box. Mm. And there will be a new leader found and we will have to try and fight, circumvent the incredible obstacles that have been put in the place by the Westminster government, is which it, but, is still but, a focus. But, Alan, you think there isn't any one of her timber to do the job as well? Uh, not, not, in a mil not in a million years. The, the, and I don't even think they'll, they'll proceed with this stupid conference that they, they had penciled in for next month. I mean, that was where Nicola was going to try and order them to agree to a ridiculous uh, deal for the next general election, which they would treat as a de facto referendum. Even the most ardent SNP supporters thought it was loaded nuts. And I honestly think that conference would be mad. It'll just end up as a bloodbath with the Nats all fighting with each other. And that's what's going to happen. Uh, in, in the next couple of weeks. But what is but when you say that, Alan, what, what is the division over? Because in the end, if you're a Scottish nationalist, the joy is you, you are there because you believe in one thing, which is Scottish independence. Well, well sure, but it ain't going to happen. I mean, when are they going to realise that, that, that this, the tide's gone out on independence? It's not working. Nicola was already <laughs> behind, behind in the polls. How is this possible when the SNP... And she made a complete mess of recent events, especially the trans issue. She's done nothing on a huge number of promises, the National Health Service, educational attainment, the, 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 West, the West Highland ferries that are costing the fortune. She made a complete mess of government. So independence is, was going nowhere and is now doomed. Leslie. Here's this tedious old thing called democracy. For a party that's supposed to have caused all those problems that you've just listed, it's really, really weird that uh, on current projections, it would appear the SNP will very likely be the opposition at Westminster after the next election. She, uh, under her leadership, the SNP have won every election in Scotland. Uh, I've heard Whether it's council just level, pausing on that for a second. Hang on, election. pausing on that for a second. I, I just want to go back to Alan on that, because that, I've heard that today, Alan. Every time someone does a list, NHS, education, drugs, whatever, of things that have gone wrong... An SNP person or an independent supporting person says, ah, but the SNP keep getting people's votes. Now, Alan, how do you answer that? Well, she was a great, I'll give her that, she was a great election fighter. But the other part <laughs> of the, of what I remember now, and the, the thing that's prob problematic for her, she's alienated her own party activists over the nonsense she's made of, of putting independence on a back burner and putting their obsession with the trans issue at the top of her priorities. She's alienated yeah. her own well, Maybe let, let's go back and to then, Leslie. Maybe we should, we should mention that. I mean, how, how on earth the trans issue becomes the thing that she falls over, if that's what happens, is well, incredible. Okay, but, yeah, sure. But, but first of all, can we just notice, people, that we've now moved from um, an obsession with independence, which is very often levelled at the SNP, to now it, the problem being it not being an obsession with, S, uh, with independence and being an obsession with the trans issue. issue now, it, just like as it. again, as a just tedious correction to all of this, the actual Scottish Parliament voted through the trans stuff with 
all the uh, parties, the opposition, except the Conservatives, individual members of whom did vote for that legislation. So everybody that tries to turn this into a personality-led thing is reflecting a kind of style of politics which is what drives many of us in Scotland to despair of British politics. Okay, if, we if we're only sitting understood. talking about individual figures, where are we going to go? Well, Come on, yeah, yeah, but, but, but leaders are politics. important. Go, sorry, go on, Alan. Uh, Nicola moaned about the, the quality of the tenor of politics. Nicola was a wonderful and abrasive politician. She didn't ask for a nicely, nicely pol for politics. And I think that the... The, the, what's going to happen now is the natural, the nationalists, are, or Nazis, as I call them, are all going to start fighting with each other, putting independence... But where do you get this idea that everybody is just incipiently waiting to have a punch-up? We're just not that kind of low-life Rami <laughs> merchants, Alan. And what's happening in the March the 19th event, We're which very possibly angels. will Hang be cancelled which very might well be cancelled, it was again going to be the stupid conference, as you call it, was going to be democracy. It was going to be people having a discussion about the best way forward, given that the obvious way forward to settle this is a blinking independence referendum that Westminster is too scared to let Scotland have because there's a strong chance we'll vote right. yes. But if, if we, OK, but if we look at the practicalities, the Westminster blocks it anyway, but it may be, Leslie, that you have a, the SNP has a leader in that's not as persuasive persuasive as Nicola Sturgeon and the, the support falls and then it's around 40% and then it's not a runner. So do you have to accept that for the rest of your life it's not going to happen? Too right, I don't. I mean, no way. My, my politics, I mean, I used to work for the BBC. That became in, incompatible with having uh, strong political views. I used to vote Labour. I don't now. There are so many of us, you cannot get a measure of it when you're not living here, that have changed completely in our perspective of how we need to change. And fundamentally, I don't want to be part of a marketised, short-term, unequal as society that comes up with non-solutions, which is what Westminster offers uh, administration after administration. So there's no way back for many of us. The, first, the way the forward first, is difficult, first, but we will thing, find one.